Hey everybody, it's Emily at Arg Schooling, and today I'm gonna do the end of the year book tag. I believe this was started by Ariel Bissett. I'll link her video down below, but I, I like the idea of this tag. And my camera's gonna die soon, so I'm hoping I can do this before the battery dies, because I don't have a lot of time to film. So let's talk about my reading year thus far. So as of right now, I've read a total of 82 books, which is awesome. My goal is 100. I'm going to make that goal because it's not that many books left to read. And we're, we're pretty close to the end of the year, but I still have quite a lot of time. Like right now it is the end of September, so I'm totally going to hit 100 books. I'm super psyched about that. Um, so, and I'm also doing really well on my other reading goals. So. I'm pretty pleased with how my reading year is going overall. So now let's jump into the questions. So the first question is, are there any books that you've started that you still need to finish? Yes. I am, I'm terrible. <laughs> like if you go to my Goodreads right now and look at my currently reading, there's like a lot of books on that list. Some of them I DNF'd and just haven't removed. Some of them I might come back to at some point. None of them are terribly pressing though. The ones that I'm like really, that I really need to finish are, are The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix and Misery by Stephen King. Both of these are going to happen. I'm going to finish them. This is book club, so I have to finish this before the end of the month so I can discuss this at the book club. And I'm really excited to do that. And Misery is just one of those books that I've had on my shelves for, I feel like forever, like my entire life. I've had this probably for 20 years, and I'm going to read it. <laughs> it's just, every time I've started it, I've set it aside. So I've started it again, and then I set it aside so I could start Final Girls, but I'm going to read this. It's going to happen. I'm going to finally read Misery. Question number two is, do you have an autumnal read to transition into the rest of the year? Yes. That's what these are. Like, I feel like autumn means spooky, so that's the kind of stuff I want to read this time of year. So these are sort of my transition books into that. Next question, number three, is is there a new release you're still waiting for? Not really. I think the only new release I could think of off the top of my head is Neil Schusterman's new book, which is called Roxy, and it comes out, I think, in November. Do I have an October book? Yeah, I do. I do have an October book. I also have, oh, what's it called? Jennifer Mathau's new book. The one that's the, the gender swapped outsiders. I can't think of the name of it. I'll put it up here on the screen later, but I have that pre-ordered as well. That's like all I've got left though, I think. I don't have any other pre-orders coming the rest of this year. All my pre-orders have already come, so that's cool. But yeah, I do still have those two books that I am waiting for. Question number four is what three books do you want to read before the end of the year? Just three? Only three? I have so many books I want to read before the end of the year. But if I have to narrow it down, I suppose those three books are White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson, which is a high priority for me right now. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, because I, I believe that ever since my channel has started, this has been recommended to me like at least once a year. <laughs> So I'm going to read this because everyone loves this book, the series, and I haven't read it yet. So I'm hoping to pick this up soon. This is a very wintry book, so I might save this to December, but I don't know if I'm going to want to wait that long. And then the other book I really want to get to before the end of the year is The Hollow Girl by Hilary Monaghan because I've had this for like five years and I haven't read it yet. And I really want to read it. So this is a like Roma... Romani inspired vengeance story about like a girl who gets raped and then I don't even know some kind of like blood magic vengeance spell it sounds really interesting and I don't know I just I want to read it because it sounds really cool and I have I have this signed by the author which you can see so those are the three books that I'm like prioritizing but I have so many things that I want to read it's crazy. Okay, next question is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite of the year? Um, 
Sure, of course. I mean, I've, I've got a lot of things that I've been like saving till now, so... So those are books that I, I of course think could become a favorite. Like, I, I absolutely think White Smoke is going to be up there. Um, this could totally blow everything out of the water and be my new favorite. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what book specifically I expect, but I have a lot of things that I want to read right now that I feel like could absolutely become a new favorite. Right now, I will tentatively say my favorite book of the year is probably... When the World Was Ours by Liz Kessler, which was just fantastic. I loved that book so much. And I feel like I've been like screaming at everyone to read it. <laughs> so so that's like my favorite favorite right now. But I, I think totally uh, there's lots of things on my list that could absolutely be a new favorite. And the last question is, have you started making any reading plans for next year? Not really. Like, I mean... I want to continue reading my shelves because that is a priority for me right now that like I'm trying really hard to not buy new things like I've been doing so good you guys I haven't bought like hardly any new books this month and I want to kind of stick to that throughout the rest of this year and work on reading my shelves because I have a lot of things um, I was just saying the other day like some people hoard food for the apocalypse I hoard books I'll never run out of things to read, but I do want to try to read some of my stuff that I already own before I start buying new things again. So, so that's always my goal, is to read my shelves and work on that. I also have just recently started thinking in terms of what is the Build Your Library reading challenge going to be for next year. Uh, like Last year we did Reading Around the World, and then... This year was like a hugga challenge where everything was just very like comforting and relaxing and that kind of thing. I don't know what it's going to be this year. I'm kind of working out ideas in my head and I just asked Sarah for help and all she said was a book with a fish on the cover. So thanks for nothing, Sarah. <laughs> so, so I don't know what that's going to look like. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But I've been trying to think of a theme. I just, I don't know, nothing's springing to mind right now, so I'm working on that. That's like really it though. I don't really have any other big goals. It's always a hundred books, it's always reading my shelves, and the Build Your Library Reading Challenge. So after that, I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I come up with anything more elaborate. <laughs> so anyway, that was the end of year book tag. How is your reading year going? I hope it's been going really well. If you want to do this tag, tag your it. I'm not going to tag anyone specifically though, but yeah, I hope you guys have had a great 2021, and yeah, I can't wait to dive into the rest of this year. I'm, I'm very excited about all the reading I'm going to get done now that my big projects are over. Like, I don't have any big pressing things. I'm kind of on vacation for the rest of the year, so I'm excited about all of the things I finally now can pick up and read. There are so many options. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.